So we've had quite a fair few batches of unique equipments released already. I think we just got batch 5 with the Shiori and the Misato. And I've been getting a lot of questions in terms of, well, it was really great how I told you guys about unique equipment, like what exactly did we need to pre-farm, stuff like that. And so Papa Lace, can you talk a little bit about 6 stars? Uh, yeah, let's do that today. Hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about 6 stars units and how exactly do we acquire them? What are the impacts? What exactly should we be looking for? Can we prepare for them? Pre-farming? Stuff like that. And so to kick things off, I want to show you guys this video. Big shout out to Light Ilmi for this video because it's actually fantastic. It walks you through the entire process of actually 6 starring a character. So for our demonstration today, I will be walking through unlocking 6 star Monica as well as all of the different requirements. And so let's step through this video really, really quick. Uh, we're going to scroll down. We're going to look for Monica over here. He's going to click into her and you will see that she is at five stars. And then the thing that you need to notice after that is that she has her unique equipment, which is very, very important. Okay, so he doesn't go ahead and show you that. But what I need to show you guys, it's probably going to come up a little bit later. So let's start off with what exactly is on this screen. So first of all, what you are going to notice is that there is actually an additional slot down here for the six star. The six star is actually pink. Pink, so it helps you differentiate that from the five stars. The next thing you'll notice is that there are going to be three slots over here, two of which has Monica's beautiful face on it. The one on the left is the normal shards that you can farm from like either the hard mode or from the arena coins or from the PA coins, clan battle coins, etc, etc. They are also the ones that you could actually purchase with your divine amulets. And so moving on to the second item over here, we have Monica's face again instead. However, it's kind of looking like a flowery shape. This is one of like the special shards or like the shiny shards or the six star shards. I don't know what to call them. But TLDR, these shards, like the main way that you're going to be getting them is through farming the very hard mode. So if you guys already know right now, we have like like normal mode where you can farm normal gear. You have hard mode where you can farm like these shards, these shards on the left. What we are actually going to get from world 18 onwards when this update drops is a whole bunch of different farmable shards. So as you can see over here, I have VH18, which is world 18, very hard mode. You can farm from stage one, two, and three, Pekarin, Kokoro, and Kiaru six star shards exclusively. First of all, you have to notice that they only have one node. So if you scroll through all of these, they actually are only farmable from their one stage 21 22 and 23 and yes it's actually possible to refresh those nodes so that you can farm them more to get those characters faster but to be honest like it's kind of worth kind of not worth it just depends on who you ask and so jp players correct me if i am wrong because i can't remember but i think you can actually refresh it up to five times for 20 gems each either that or it's going to follow the same model as the hard mode so back to our example over here i'm trying to farm these monica star shards and so i'm going to come down here you will see I can only farm it from this one here. Well, 29, very hard, 29 dash two. Okay, and so this one is kind of like your limiting factor in terms of getting to six stars because this is not actually available before the six star is released. So what that means is that generally speaking, you're probably going to be constrained by this one over here because the other materials are quite readily available. They're not like crazy, crazy readily available, but they'll probably be more readily available than these guys over here. All right, and so that is our star shards for these ones over here in the middle. Now, what you'll see over here is a new type of item. And these are, I think they're called your prince orbs and essentially they are a new material very similar to the heart orbs or the heart shards that we got with sanctum survey lunar tower to get our unique equipments so i'm gonna scroll through a little bit faster and see if we can show that so you saw that tp plus five and we actually do get some stat gain when we are going for six star so this is actually quite nice considering like we can start at five stars we're going to six stars and these little steps make it kind of feel like there's a 5.1 5.2 5.3 kind of thing so the same thing actually happens if we go ahead and do it for uh, this one over here. I don't think we actually get anything for the normal shards, but for the princess orbs, oh, actually, that looked like we actually did get some stat up. Not a crazy amount, but I see that TP over there and it's pretty nice. So moving through again, we are going to see these orbs. So, okay, okay, this is the part where I need to pause. So you can see that there are actually five different stars. 
what this means is that you can also take this part sequentially. So you can do it up to one star, up to two star and have those incremental upgrades rather than going from zero to a hundred. What I do know is that all of them aren't equal. I remember you start at like 10 and then you go to 20 and then 30, 40, 50, something like that. However, the total cost for these princess orbs is going to be 100 to be able to get it to five stars, which is what we need to get to the six star Monica or any six star character for that fact. Uh, okay, 542 and two, that's quite nice stats. Let me go back. That is certainly not bad at all considering it is just a bunch of orbs, right? <laughs> so now you saw this thing has unlocked. And so this is essentially our battle button. Now, this is the part that I wanted to show you beforehand. This is the unique equipment. So you saw that the thing actually unlocked, like the button unlocked, even though we didn't even max out our unique equipment. And so whilst it is true that we can go into the battle without maxing out the unique equipment, probably would recommend actually maxing this one out. We are indeed going to be going into a battle. So I think he does go ahead and goes, wow, 200, level 200 with a whole bunch of these Monica shards. That's a, that's a freaking heavy investment. So here is the next part. What we're about to do is that we're actually going to go into battle with the six star equivalent character of who you want to raise. So in this case, we're going to be fighting a six star Monica as well as a whole bunch of these different monsters. And it's pretty much going to play out exactly as you think it would. We're going to go in, we're going to kick their ass. If we don't kick their ass, then we're going to get our asses kicked and then we don't get the six star Monica. However, do not be afraid of it because I do believe that it is unlimited tries, no stamina, nothing like that. And so you can just go in at your own leisure. And that in itself is also a requirement, right? Because these six star battles, they're actually not like that easy. So I guess the requirement around this and pretty much everybody should be making this requirement is that you're going to have to have a team that is actually capable of clearing this battle before you can go for the six star. And so we're just going to spend the battle actually like fighting the Monica over here. As you can see, it's only one wave. We're going to have to do it in one minute 30. Everything is literally history. It's the same. And I'm pretty sure this guy just go ahead and like autos it. He's got a six star Jita. He's got a six star Arisa. He's got a six star Nozomi. There is no way that he can actually lose this on auto. So I'm just going to skip ahead and show you guys a little bit of the six star Monica, or rather I'm going to show you the five star Monica first. Uh, we have the Monica here going into UB. So this is her original UB and she is going to use it. It's going to do a, a, a respectable, uh, maybe about <laughs> a respectable amount of damage. And I'm going to show you next their Monica, who is pretty freaking jacked out. So we have their Monica that is coming up. And as you can see, bam, Whoosh, pretty sick. Oh yeah, that was, uh, was kind of cool. But anyway, so after some hard, hard autoing, we are going to be able to finish the battle. And this is what we are going to be presented with next. We're going to have this screen. We're going to have like the success screen. And then we are going to go into the evolution after the rewards, of course. Da 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 da. Monica, six star. Are you coming? Or, okay, yeah. So you got to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> so you could technically leave her at five stars if you wanted to. So all of our materials are going in, they're going to get consumed and we are going to get our sick Monica six star. So what exactly comes with the six star heroes? Each of these characters are going to get a new live 2D over here. They're going to get a new model. So if we actually go back in, you'll see that Monica is no longer wearing a black hat, uh, like the black outfit. She is now wearing like a captain outfit. It's so freaking sick, man. It's Oh man, chef's kiss. On top of that, she also gets her new Bond stories. I believe it goes from eight to, let me just check that one. So it's just this one up here from eight to 12, you're gonna get another four Bond stories and that means more stats. But most importantly, aside from all of these different cosmetic changes, as well as like a little bit of stats here, the most important change is going to be the UB. The UB is gonna get giga busted. And so my guys, welcome to the Monica wiki. And as you can see, we have the five star and then the six star equivalent over here. I'm gonna hop over to skills and show you guys how exactly the UB changes. This is very, very similar to the rank two, to the rank two plus, where if we get a unique equipment, it actually juices up the skill two. We're going from a union burst to a union burst plus. And as you can see, we're gonna be getting a lot of fat juice for the Monica UB. Very, very nice. A lot of the time you're gonna be getting additional buffs. Sometimes like the nature of the skill itself is going to change. So for example, I've got Pekarin over here. This is Pekarin five star. We're gonna go into Pekarin six star. So let's hop back over to her skills and have a look at the UB. So at base UB, she is still just applying physical defense and magic defense buffs to herself. She is very, very much a tank. 
However, when we get over to her Yubi plus at six star, she's going to deal massive damage to the frontmost enemy, but also apply a physical attack buff to the user. And this physical attack buff is going to scale according to the user's current HP. And so in this instance, it's quite good because Pekrin goes from like pretty much a pure tank to somewhat of a sub attacker. All right. And so that is all of the changes of the six stars. Like you guys can go ahead and read like who exactly are going to get the six stars. Honestly, I'm just going to show you right now. But essentially from about three months, three and a half months from now, since like it's been 421 days since global launch with the gourmet guild at 562 days after JP launch, we're probably looking at about 140 days, which translates to, like I said, three months and 20 days approx. So from there, we are going to get the gourmet girls, all three of them, Pekarin, Kokoro and Kiaru all at once. And then at approximately monthly intervals, so like 30 days from 62 up to 92, up to 23, up to 653, we're going to be getting a new six star release. So what that means is that we're going to be getting approximately 12 to 13 six stars every single year. And this, my guys, is pre-calc. So of course, shout out to the creator of pre-calc, Andrew. But unfortunately, this list and honestly, this website is not being updated too frequently anymore. I think I can only point you guys to like schedules like this. So you see Reno, Lima, and it's going to go all the way up until the most recent ones, which are the summer limited units. We've got Pekarin, we've got Kiaru, and we got Summer Kokoro as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all of these ones over here. I've shown you the schedule. I've shown you, oh my God, I didn't show you guys how to get the princess orbs. Okay. So back on this screen, these guys over here, the right hand side ones, uh, these guys can be obtained via a couple of different ways. I'm talking, uh, first of all, you can go EX Dungeon 4 or 5, I believe it's EX Dungeon 4. Very similar to how you can earn those heart shards from our current EX Dungeon 2. I, I can't even remember what we're at, EX Dungeon 1 maybe? However, on top of that, we are actually going to be able to farm them from a stage that is very, very similar to your grotto, to your Sanctum Survey. I believe it's this picture over here. So as you can see, we have the Sanctum survey over here and then we have the princess orbs over here for the six star enhancement and then if i was to click into this button over here oops that just minimized the picture you are going to see this one over here very very familiar there's not really much more i can say about this and so yeah that is six star in a nutshell okay so what exactly can we pre-farm? Looking at this one over here, the only thing that we can realistically pre-farm is probably the shards to the left, as well as the shards that are required to get the unique equipment. Like I said, I would highly recommend actually juicing out the unique equipment fully because it's actually quite good. That is of course, unless you're doing like some real try-hard timelines, like leaving Maho UE at level one, stuff like that. But generally speaking, especially for six star, you're probably gonna want it for max, especially for the offensive units. So yeah, all of this is pretty much coming down to we can only pre-farm for these shards and I think they actually just lock us out of buying these shards when we have too many so in a way we can't really pre-farm them all we can really do is like hold on to those arena coins hold on to those dungeon coins or whatever and then buy the shards when this actually comes along all right I think that's finally actually it okay time to go and so my guys have a quick look through all of these six star potential six stars or whatever and let me know which one seems to be your favorite in terms of skill in terms of splash art stuff like that you can find the majority if not all of them like over here for example we're back to the monica page and so if i just click into cards bam six star monica so freaking sick and i think you guys can already tell i do have a small thing for like the admirals for like the captain outfits you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let me know who you guys are most excited for in terms of who will be getting their six star. And if you do end up dropping a comment down below, I would really appreciate that because it means that you've actually watched up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. If you did like this video, please consider a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, my guys, as your girl Monica once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.